So in this video, I would like to introduce the in-tank tight fit style fuel sump. This is fantastic. If you're running like a Tanks Inc. Uh, tank, this will actually have the same bolt pattern as that as well. This is one you would run with a, a fuel pressure regulator, like one that's up front of your car or on a rail or a Corvette style, actually. It's my big, my big favorite, but supply out of the red. It's got a return over here on the small AM6 fitting, and it's got a little vent tube, too. So if you don't have a vented tank, you can run this as a vent. It's got, uh, it comes with a 255 liter per hour uh, fuel pump in it too. It's adjustable depth from about 9 to about 12 inches. So really great. It's selectable height. Um, it comes with a really nice hard line. You usually have to heat these when you're installing them just for ease of install. So they hold very well. It comes with two different uh, fuel socks on it as well. This is pretty much in place of your uh, your pump's pre-filter instead of a like a 10 micron or 100 micron filter, what have you. This right here is going to be your 100 micron filter in the tank to get rid of any particles. We also have one of these socks as well that's a closed cell technology. So if you don't have like a, a baffle inside your tank, you can use that sock as well. That way, if any portion of that sock itself, the, the pre filter sock, is in fuel, it will pull the fuel through. All right, so we're back here with our makeshift fuel cell just to show the, you know, bit of the installation and, uh, it's labeled fuel cell. So in this fuel cell, you notice that I have a little adapter right here. This, if anybody's familiar with how a rib nut works, this is a can be used as a vent or as a return button. Drill a half inch hole through the side of your tank. Obviously, get rid of the fuel. You install this, debur it, so on and so forth. As long as the gasket is is mating up well, you it comes with a bolt installed in it, so you can remove this fitting install the bolt and then it crushes itself into place giving you a really quick and easy access to having a good return a good bulkhead fitting without all that bulkhead mess but we'll be making a separate video on this um, as it goes just to show the the proper installation methods really cool piece of equipment right here as for the rest of this let me uh, get the lid off of here we can see that as well on this one we have a locator ring that we kind of use as a template. Really nice. It's, see, it's got that, that cut in it right there. So we can actually get it through the hole because, you know, it's hard to get a large round doubler ring uh, through a hole. <laughs> so on the other sides, the same thing, fuel resistant foam. This one's a slightly different setup. It doesn't have that doubler on the top side for serviceability, but it still is serviceable. The, the foam actually holds itself in place. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and slide this fuel pump in place and I'll show you guys how it kind of drops in. So we already got a depth set on this unit right here. See the uh, the nice foam print there? It's going to seal up nicely in the tank. We just ease it right in, tighten it up with our, uh, our locking hardware, and go ahead and plumb in the rest of our fuel system. If you notice down here, it's just off the bottom of the surface, not crammed against the bottom of the tank to put any stress on the pump or in the top of the tank. It's just exactly what it's supposed to be.